Hello and welcome to our next lesson. We are still on database normalization and today we are going to be looking at 1NF rules. For us to state that a particular relation is in 1NF, there are certain set of rules that it has to abide with. Rule number one is that there should be no repeating groups. Rule number two is that we should not have duplicate records. Rule number three is that each cell should only have one value. And the last rule is that every record must be unique. In when you are talking of a repeating group, we are implying that there are going to be a set of fields or a field that are touching to about the key that have to keep on being repeated so that we can populate other sets of data. We are going to explain each of these particular rules using an example in the next set of slides. We begin with the first one. We have said that the first rule is that there should be no repeating groups. You can see that uh, we are being forced to repeat the student ID, student name, year, semester, course code, and course name. This entire set is being repeated so that we are able to populate the three different units that a student is undertaking. Similarly, for Anne Smith, we are being forced to repeat all these sets of data so that we can accommodate the two units that the student is undertaking. So this is what we are referring to as a repeating group, that we have a set of fields or a set of domains that are being repeated so that we can be able to accommodate other sets of data. So for a table to be the, in the one NF, this must be removed. We should not have this aspect of a repeating group. The other thing is that the repeating group has to be forming part of the key. And we are going to see in a short while, how do we identify the primary key for this particular relation? The next rule we have said is that we should not have duplicate records. If you look at this relation, we are going to say that this second row or the second record, as well as the fourth record, they are identical. So you should never have a scenario where we are having identical or duplicate records. And in the, in the event that they are up, then we need to get rid of them. The other rule is that each cell should only contain a single value. If you are keen and you look at this field called colors, you can see that it's accommodating more than one value in a given cell. So to have our relation being in the one and F, we need to get rid of this and ensure that each and every cell has one single value. The other rule we have said is that each record should be unique. In other words, for us to state that a given relation is in the one and F, we should be able to identify which is the primary key. Now, if we look at this particular relation, we are going to see that our primary key is going to be formed by a combination of the student ID and a combination of the unit code. So that forms uniqueness. And this now again affirms the statement that I had talked about repeating groups, that the set of fields should be forming part of the key. You can see that our repeating group, student ID, is part of the key. So we are repeating this whole set so that we can accommodate these different units. So by that, it means that we cannot state that our repeating group begins from here, the student name. No, for us to say that there is a repeating group, the part of the key, which in this case is a student ID, should be forming part of the repeating group for us to qualify that we have a repeating group. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.